Hello, my name is Mark Howard. I'm with a company called Global IPv6. Today we're going to talk about IPv6 subnetting. So in a series of, of videos, we're going to be covering different topics about IPv6. And once again, we're going to talk about IPv6 subnetting in this video. So if you currently take a look at an IPv4 address, I mean, as you guys know, an IPv4 address is 32 bits in size. So you have 8 bits separated by dot and decimal notation. If you add them up, you've got 32 bits here. Well, IPv6 is just going to be a little bit different than that. And what I mean by a little bit different, a little bit larger than that. So when we take a look at IPv6, instead of being 32 bits in size, it's 128 bits. Each field is 16 bits separated by colons instead of dotted decimal notation like we had with IPv4. Now, if you live, uh, let's say you're somewhere in North America, so if you're in North America, you'd go underneath the registry of Aaron, for example. And when you go to Aaron, you're going to subscribe for a portion of your IPv6 address. And there's actually variations of the prefix that they can assign you. A uh, portion of your address, by the way, is what we refer to as a prefix. So let's say that we had the Acme Corporation. And Aaron assigns them a prefix of let's say they're assigned a prefix of 2 FFB 1000 2000. Well if you add this up, it's 16 plus 16 plus 16 would be 48. So a lot of times this would be written as Acme received. FFB 1000 2000 slash 48. Well, what does that mean to us? Well, it's kind of like receiving a, uh, a class B address, for example. So if I was assigned 130.10, that means the first 16 bits, I could not change it. But I could do anything I wanted to with the last 16 bits. Well, that's very similar in IPv6, where so if I was assigned the first 48, We would kind of view the first 48 bits as our network portion, allowing the Acme Corporation to do whatever they want with the last five fields. Well, in an IPv6 world, uh, we're going to reserve typically the last 64 bits, especially if you're doing something what we call auto configuration. We're going to reserve the last 64 bits as the host bits. So if the last four bits are assigned for the host and the first 48 bits are assigned for basically like your network portion, so really what you're going to have left is these next 16 bits. And that's typically when we're out in the field, we're actually subnetting a lot of times on that fourth field right there. So what are some possible subnets you, you could assign? Well, you actually have a wide range. Because one thing about IPv6 is everything is written in hexadecimal. So it's really no longer binary, we're using base 16 hex. My first subnet could actually be all zeros. My next subnet could be 1, 2, 3, all the way to FFFF allow me to have even more than 65,000 subnets. 
And for a typical enterprise company, 65,000 plus subnets should be plenty of subnets to assign you know, throughout the enterprise. And the key thing here is for each subnet, we can have 2 to the 64th power of host, which a lot of people you know, think that that's kind of a waste. So if I had a department like sales, I give sales a subnet of 2 FFB, 1,000, 2,000, subnet number 3, for example, and there's 40 hosts out there. Well, I actually have 2 to the 64th power of host on it. And uh, so, yeah, we are kind of wasting the number of bits on the end for the host bits, but once again, that's how IPv6 is designed to do this on it. So traditionally, we're kind of looking at the four field, as I mentioned, as our subnet field right here. And that should once again be enough subnets for uh, most enterprises. Now, in a later video, we'll actually talk about how, how does a host create its host uh, number right here, its value. So we'll come back later on and show you a couple different ways, either statically or through a service called EUI64 where a host can actually go through and use this MAC address to create the host portion. And once again, that will be a later video that, that you can watch. So, uh, well, once again, my name is Mark Cower, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And I'm with uh, Global IPv6. Thank you.